Yeah, well, thank you. And, uh, and tell us, uh, I know we wanted to talk about Franciscan outreach. We don't have a lot of time, but uh, yes. I mentioned the TORs and uh, the, the Diocese of Fort Worth in particular is very blessed to have a very strong TOR presence among the priesthood. Uh, what does it mean to have TOR after your name? And in particular, how are you drawn to that particular order? Well, I would say that uh, we are uh, a group of Franciscans who uh, had our origins among the lay people who wanted to become a community. And so when they, uh, uh, when they uh, uh, asked the Pope to become a, a member of the community in the, in the 16th century, he said, you'll be the third order of St. Francis. And so that's what we are. And uh, our particular charism is uh, a daily conversion, ongoing conversion. And so we stress that in our... So that means in a practical way, having people uh, reconciled to God, themselves, their neighbors, everyone. And so uh, that's part of our ministry, no matter what uh, form it takes. For example, in parishes, we also are universities as well. We have Franciscan University in Steubenville and St. Francis University in Loretto, Pennsylvania. So we do a lot of work uh, in terms of... Uh, uh, students as well as the lay people at large. And there are several parishes in the Diocese of Fort Worth that right. I think are exclusively uh, staffed, so to speak, by TORs. I'm thinking of St. Andrews in Fort Worth. That's uh, correct. Father Tom uh, is a TOR. St. Maria Gretti uh, has, I think, traditionally had TORs. And of course, your, your parish as well, Good Shepherd. How does that work out uh, between the TORs and the, and the diocese and the bishop? What did that kind of arrangement? Well, the bishop needs priests and they don't have enough of their di own diocese priests and so they request our provincial the head of our community whether he would send some priests to uh, Fort Worth and that's been going on I've been here in the Fort Worth diocese for 20 years but I think we've been here more like 30 to 40 years mm -hmm. uh, in the diocese uh, and so uh, it's a matter of trying to fulfill the needs of the people here and we bring it a special or and a different kind of uh, presence in the diocese than a diocese of priests because we live in community and we can stress that and also share that with the people that we minister to, a sense of community. Yes, <clears throat> speaking to uh, Father Richard Eldridge, pastor, uh, Good Shepherd Catholic Community in Colleyville, and uh, talking about uh, the TORs and a number of other things. And I want to—I know there's a lot going on in the parish. It's a growing parish, and uh, we want to find out any news from the parish itself. I also want to talk about Franciscan outreach. Uh, that's yes. what uh, Dr. Kyle Martha said that you were going to speak about. What is that? Well, I, let me just back up a little bit. Our parish is growing immensely. We get about 30 new families a month. We have about 3,550 families as of Friday. Tomorrow I'll, find, I'll get another group of uh, members who have joined. So, uh, what we're trying to do is to try to make sure that people are engaged in some kind of service that will uh, uh, forward uh, our mission as, as a parish. Now, we've grown so big that our, we're landlocked at 17 acres where our parish is, and so we bought a piece of property on Route 26, less than a mile from our parish. It used to be the Martial Arts Building, and now it's ours as of uh, January 3rd. And uh, that building will be used for a number of purposes. One will be the outreach from Catholic Charities, which will be a, what, what we call a Hope Center, uh, where we uh, bring people in for, who have needs uh, that we can fulfill. Uh, and also for transportation. They get transportation to doctor's appointments and things like that. So that's what part of it is. And, and I'm, also, I'm also excited about the brand new initiative of um, uh, a, a, an outreach in terms of evangelization. We, we're going to have a Franciscan Evangelization Center also. And it's part of that building. It's a large enough building to be able to, to manage all of those, uh, those needs and those ministries. And what I'd like to see is, it's, it's, there's a presence now in the community. Our parish is sort of off into the, uh, into the uh, side roads, but this is right on the main street. So we want people to be able to drop in at any time and to uh, learn about uh, God and the, the church or whatever. I'm especially concerned about people who are unaffiliated, disaffected, maybe don't believe in God anymore, don't believe in church anymore. I want them to come in and learn more about us. Uh, and perhaps we'll have our, uh, we have a, uh, a group called uh, uh, Alpha that may really help these kinds of individuals, okay? And we want to have uh, resources there, especially books uh, by Scott Hans and, and uh, Brent Petrie and so, uh, so many others 
who will uh, encourage the people to learn more about what God is about and what the church is about, uh, and uh, uh, and that may move them toward a closer relationship. And that's what we're hoping. Mm, very nice. Uh, the outreach is so important because yes. I know, uh, you know, when we come and we gather and we receive the Lord in the Eucharist and the Mass, uh, that is the source and summit of our faith. But then I think what you're saying is also we need to get out. We need Absolutely. to get out into the community and draw people in and build up the church, which it sounds like things are going well. Well, that's what, that's what Pope Francis says. He says, open the doors and go out to the people, not just have them coming in. Let it go out to them, and so that's what we're trying to do. Okay, so this new um, this new development that you said uh, a mile or so from the the main sanctuary. So you've also done some construction on the church itself, haven't you? Done some additions onto it? Yes, uh, since I've been there, I'm, I'm in my tenth year now. We, of course, built a daily chapel uh, some years ago, and also a uh, uh, a room for music uh, rehearsals and, and a few classrooms connected with the church itself. And currently, what's going on? We have another addition to our uh, uh, our building, our administration building, which will be about 20 classrooms or 20 meeting rooms. Uh, we're growing so fast; we don't have any enough space. Yeah. With with so many children that we have, we're now putting them in closets and we're putting <laughs> them in, in kitchens and everything else in order to get their re religious education. But it's not suitable. So this, we hope to have it done by. Uh, the mid-May, uh, and our new programming should begin, I guess, I would say probably in August, our new programming in the building. Well, so we're just delighted about it. And the important thing is, you know, our people are very generous and very good and very good stewards, so everything's paid for. And uh, do you have any other priests there with you? Any, I know yes. you got at least one deacon, Deacon Pat. How big is the... Uh, the well, we have three TR priests, and so myself and two others, Father Jonathan McAlone, is my associate and also Father Ronald Manicki is an associate and so we have three priests there and we have three we actually have three deacons as well three oh, wow. deacons. not only Pat uh, who's here today but also uh, uh, John Klaus uh, uh, I mean uh, uh, John, yeah, John, John Clark. Clark I'm sorry and and uh, and Klaus Goodbeer oh okay so we have three all right, very good, Father uh, Richard Eldridge, uh, here my guest. So we're at the top of the hour, and Father, uh, hang with us. So I'd love for you to give our, our listeners a blessing, if you would, in just a moment. I'd be happy to do hour. that. Before that, though, I think we're going to do the drawing, because I think we have everybody in the drawing that's going to get into it. Uh, it's five minutes before the top of the hour, and uh, we are broadcasting at uh, Mid-Cities Dental here in the Mid-Cities. Uh, 556 Bedford Euless Road, Sweetie, uh, Hearst, Texas, 76053. I do invite you, it's uh, too late, unless you're uh, walking through the door right now to get into this drawing, but I invite you to consider uh, Dr. Eveline uh, and Dr. Christina Mulcahy to be your dentists. Also, Martha Eveline, uh, Dr. Kyle's wife, is on staff here as the marketing director. Uh, so, uh, go to their website, midcitiesdental.com. They've been sponsors for a number of years now. We really appreciate their support. Again, Turn her back. I, unless she's just really excited for her dental appointment. I don't know. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, she's, she just can't wait to that, that root canal. Come on, come on. Okay, let's. We got to get her real quickly because we're on a time frame. But uh, okay, you know who she is. Okay, so, all right, all right. So we're we're uh, okay. So she's gonna be in the drawing. So, uh, Martha, if you want to go ahead and grab a microphone and and let's uh, we're, we're uh, kind of tight for time here. So let's do the drawing. Okay, we have a, a little. Okay, Father Richard is gonna draw. Pull his push his name in. I hope I get mine. <laughs> and the winner, okay, we're going to have two drawings. The winner of the $50 Visa gift Fred card. Lopez. Fred 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 Lopez. The winner of a $50 Visa gift card. Uh, okay, so he's got to tithe 10% of that. <laughs> so that's going to be $5. <laughs> 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 May math there, right? All right, so uh, Fred Lopez, the winner of the $50 Visa gift card. Now a $15 Subway card. Um, the winner <coughs> is, and Father Eldridge is going to announce the winner there, uh, is Hope Perez. Oh, Hope oh, Perez. Now, where's the, is that his wife? Yeah. Is that the, y'all, Mary, Mary That's Tom? you. Congratulations, Hope. Oh, wow. Okay, Sweet. so Hope. Uh, well, when you have a name like Hope, I guess that agrees. Yes. <laughs> winning stuff. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, congratulations. I'm going to be in contact of the five winners of the North Texas Catholic Men's Conference I tickets. Know, uh, I know they've texted me, so please, uh, uh, do two things. Go to ntxcmc.org and register for this men's conference if you're 18 years and older and you're a man. And also uh, visit midcitiesdental.com. And Father, what's the website for the parish? The website is uh, www.gscc.net. 
Okay, gscc.net, and oh yeah, and do not forget also, if you're interested in pr prison ministry, remember we spoke to uh, Jim Shea a little while ago, prison ministry at gscc.net, obviously that's associated with the parish, and uh, maybe that might be something that you're interested in as well. So I think we covered all the ground there. Father, would you mind uh, uh, giving our listeners a blessing? Yes, please bow down your head for the blessing. Good and gracious God, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for Catholic Radio and our contribution to it. We ask you to bless us now. May God, may the Lord bless and keep you. May He turn His face to you and be gracious to you. May the Lord smile upon you and give you His peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Go in peace. God bless you. Thank you very much, Father. And get some uh, Chick-fil-A uh, food here. And I think they left a couple of them for me. And uh, as we close out, again, I want to thank Kent and Brittany back in the studio. I want to thank uh, the Everlines and everybody. You'd be, you'd be surprised. We've got a lot of people here. We've got about 20 people here with us. And uh, those who came by just to, to visit or to be on the air, we're so thankful. Uh, this is uh, actually kind of unusual for a live broadcast to have this big of a crowd. So it's, it's kind of fun to have everybody here. And you know what? I went an hour without mentioning car raffle tickets okay so the, the restraint that I used I didn't mention car raffle tickets and I didn't we had so much else going on but I do want to encourage you if you want to win that uh, Chevy Camaro here in less than two weeks uh, it's gonna be Wednesday March 1st it's uh, Ash Wednesday uh, go oh yeah I tell you what just email me or text me if you want tickets um, Dave Palmer at grnonline.com or you can text me 972-757-2990 as if you were able to catch that that quickly 972-757-2990 and I'd love to sell you some raffle tickets. You can support Catholic Radio and also have a chance to win a 2017 Chevy Camaro here in less than two weeks. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks for your support of Catholic Radio and Mid-Cities Dental and Good Shepherd Parish and all the other great stuff we talked about today. God bless you. We will now go to uh, Jeanette Benkovic's Women of Grace and regular programming here on this station. And uh, thank you for listening. This is Dave Palmer signing off from Mid-Cities Dental here in Hearst on the Guadalupe Radio Network.